Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the blend material. So I have a plane. We're in 3ds Max 2019 and I'm going to click on the material editor, go to blend, double click, create a new blend material and apply that to the plane. So I'm just going to click and drag it out. The issue with this is you can't see it in the viewport. So if I click on the blend material and then click to show shade it in viewport, we don't get the red line indicating that it's going to show. So we're going to need to open up the render window and render out um, our samples. So for this, I'm going to come in and just use some procedural maps for the diffuse color for the first material. I'm going to go to the general and then I'll pick pearly and marble. And we'll just take a render of that, take a look at it. So that's what pearly and marble looks like. And then for the second map, I'm going to come out of our diffuse general and I'm going to go down and apply the swirl material. So if I render right now we just see the first material. We have to tell the blend material how to blend these two. So we have a few different choices here. One we can use our curve mix, we can use our mix amount, and we can use our mask. So we'll do the mix amount first because we don't need any mask for that. With the mix amount it starts as zero and we just see the first material. If I bring this up to 50% and render, we get a mix between the two materials. So it's 50-50. If I go to 25%, we're going to get primarily the first material. If I go to 75%, we're getting more the second material. So this is without a mask. I'm just applying the two maps together and they're combining. If we want a mask, I'm going to put this back to zero, do another render. We'll apply a mask by putting it into the mask slot or by clicking here and applying a mask. So I'm just going to come out of the mask slot, go to general, and I can pick any of these but I'm going to pick a noise. So with our noise, we're using the noise to generate where the two maps show up. So if I make a preview window, you see that we have a lot of gray. Whenever you're using a mask, you're using the luminance value, so the black to white information. And in this gray, we're very much in the middle grays. So we don't have any areas where it's purely map one and purely map two. So I can use my curve amount to make adjustments, um, but I can also use the mask itself. So I can come in here and make adjustments to it. So let's go and do that. I want to have um, a darker black and a lighter white to get a better result from this mask. So I'm just double clicking on the mask and then going into the noise threshold. So when we have the high clip further away from the low clip, we get more value between the two. If I go into something like Fractal, I can adjust levels and play with the value. But here, I just have access to the clip. So I'm going to bring down 0.5, the high clip, and that makes the whites whiter. And I'm going to bring up the low clip, so 0.25, and that's going to make my blacks blacker. And I'm just going to adjust these till I get something that I like. Larger amounts of black. And now when we render this, you'll see we have 100% where the black is of mask 1, and then 100% where the white is for mask 2. And the preview doesn't always match exactly what your, your final render is going to be, so just be aware of that. Okay. So that's what we're getting from this adjusted mask. And I'm just going to leave this one in for now. I'm going to go back. And this is just having this mask, adjustments we made to the original mask. If I go into the curve and use the curve, we can make further adjustments. So we can control the percentage that we're pulling from one mask or the other. So let's take a look at this with a non-adjusted noise. I'm going to push that one over, go and create a new general 
noise mask. Do another render, just so we're back to the default, you can see what it looks like. And if I play with my curve, if I'm pulling the curve, the upper curve, over in this direction, then that's our mask one. This direction you can think of as mask two. So if I bring up to 100% and render, we're seeing more of the first material. And if I bring the lower over, we're going to see even less of it. Let me pull that all the way over. And now we're getting that just averaged 50% blend. So if I go to the opposite direction and I bring this, tuck this over, we're going to see more of the mask too. And that's how you use your blend mask. And that's how you use the blend material in 3ds Max.